Hey there, Andrew here with PastorBlogs.com. Uh, in this tutorial, we're going to be looking at another part of our third checkbox here, and we're talking about um, adding our adding our blog post. In this video, in particular, we're going to be looking at importing our post from uh, our existing website. So. Many of you, you uh, recognize that PastorBlogs.com is a cool tool and um, you want to move away from your current blogging website and uh, you want to bring your post with you. And so it's, it's pretty simple. I'm going to go to another one of my websites here and um, we're going to look at exporting here to a test site I have on PastorBlogs. And so when you log into WordPress, you probably see this. And uh, what we're going to do is go to Tools, Export. And we want we want to export our post. Now, also, um, you can uh, export. Say that you have uh, different images, so you would export media, all that kind of stuff. You can you can export those as well. Uh, I'd recommend doing it in a separate export. When you export all of this, a lot of this won't apply to uh, the Pastor Blogs platform. And so, I recommend just exporting posts and then doing another export for uh, your media. And so. I'm going to do all categories. I'm going to do all authors, and I'm going to. I'm just going to do one post. So I'm going to pick the post that I had in in March, and uh, I'm going to export all of all the ones in March. It should just be one, and I'm going to download the export file. Now, in a minute, you'll see that uh, when I import it, it, it gives me an error on the form. It said I can't can't import error. Uh, I can't import the format for tutorials or whatever. That's because this is custom to this site. It's something I built for this site. So when you see that on the screen in a minute, just know that that's not an issue. It still worked. Um, so I'm going to go over to uh, my Pastor Blogs test site, churchleadertools.com. And these are the posts that I have presently. These are just uh, the, the basic posts that the, the default posts when you start your site. You can go ahead and get rid of these. Uh, just go to uh, select this checkbox and then move them to trash and then click apply. And uh, that, that'll move them all. What we wanna do is import that post, that post that we made. So we're gonna go to site settings and from this little drop down, we're gonna select import post. This is the same place you would go to import um, your, your media as well. So we're going to run the importer. And I think I can just pull this file right here, boom. And I'm going to upload file and import. And this is going to give us uh, a selection here. We want to import the author. You are the author. I don't want to import myself and make a different one. So I want to assign post to an existing user, which is, is me. And uh, if there's stuff inside the post like um, uh, file attachments, uh, some of the media will pull in. We want to import those as well. And I'm going to click submit. Now, one of the downsides of this is that you can't uh, directly import like featured images. And so uh, you'll have to go back into your post and, and assign a featured image to those posts. But it pulls all the all the content of the post itself. Um, so the best way to do that is like if you're if you're going in here. If you're exporting. You can go back and just export all your media from whenever to whenever and upload it the same way. And you'll see right here it said it failed to import the format general and format tutorials. That's because that's just specific to the site I was using here. It's no big deal. And now when I go back to blog posts, I can go to all posts. And this is the post that I imported. It has to do with pastor blogs, actually. And another thing you'll notice over here is that um, my, my content type isn't there. And so what I want to do is uh, I want to edit, quick edit this. And I should be able to assign an article and I update it. And so this makes sure that it use the article. It uses the article template that we have or the article layout that we have for pastor blogs. Um, if you're coming in and you have, you know, 30 posts that you're importing, what you can do is click this little checkbox that highlights that selects all of them. Go to bulk actions, edit and apply. And this pulls up the bulk edit options for everything. And you can even filter out like if you don't want to do, um, this one or this one or this one, and then you want to change all your content types to article, then uh, you can do that there. Um, for some, it, it lets you select more than one, but please remember that uh, you'll, you'll, it'll, it'll break the layout if a post has more than one selection. So only select one content type, and then you would click update over there, and it would update all of those that you had selected to the same uh, content type. 
And so this is what I just imported. Let's go edit it real quick. And so this is uh, what it looks like now that it's in here. Pulled right into the editor. And it pulled in my SEO stuff as well. And I'm going to go to the document settings and I want to set a featured image. And I'm just going to pick that one right there. Select. And now that I added that featured image, I'm going to, I'm going to update the post so that it uses that image. And then I'm going to go visit this page. And so it put my featured image back there and it imported all my stuff. And that's how you can move all your WordPress blog posts to the pastorblogs.com platform.